Hello, everyone, and welcome to Citrix Converge 2021. My name is Damon Duncan, a Partner Solutions Engineer with our Shared Services team. Today, I am going to be presenting to you Citrix and AVD Better Together. On my title page here, you will see a QR code that is to my LinkedIn profile that I will leave up for just a couple more seconds before I move forward. So in today's session, we're going to be going over Citrix and AVD. What do you gain? We're also going to be going over a brief ROI explanation, some new features coming out, and last but not least, some resources that will be available to you to access at the end of this presentation. So Citrix plus AVD, what do you gain? This is a question I get asked numerous times by both those in the field and those in the office. With Microsoft AVD, this is what customers usually gain access to once they have an AVD subscription. They get access to the AVD control plane, the subscription, the license entitlement, the workloads and control plane, and all this is managed by Microsoft. However, when you include Citrix in the equation, you will begin to see the added advantages. So currently what you see on your screen is what you get with a Microsoft AVD subscription. And for a number of customers, this will be a good enough solution. However, we also know that there are customers out there who need more, and that is where we come in. The first thing we're gonna do is we are actually going to replace the AVD control plane with one of our own. And this is where our Citrix cloud services will come into play. Access to our SD-WAN service, gateway service, our auto scale service, analytic service, and others will be available to Citrix cloud customers with an AVD subscription. The next thing that we're going to do is that under the AVD subscription, we're going to input our machine creation services, our cloud connector, and our app layering features as well. So far, we have added quite a few features to our Citrix and AVD solution. The next thing we're going to add is our hybrid cloud. And as you can see here, where we start changing is the differentiator is in the infrastructure choice. So we will have customers that will have our hypervisor, vSphere, Hyper-V, or Nutanix as their on-prem infrastructure choice. With this in place, we can still manage their hybrid infrastructure by simply configuring data sources. So with this, customers will gain access to our SD-WAN, the Windows 10, Windows Server 2012, App Data, Active Directory, and other features such as that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the RDP protocol that most customers will use in AVD because that's what AVD supports, and we will replace it with our HDX protocol, which will bring with it support for peripherals, the Teams optimizations, 3D graphics, workspace apps, HDX insights, and a number of other solutions and features only Citrix can provide. We can also, at this point, we will also allow even more clients to connect. So in previous installments, customers only had access to Windows, Apple, HTML5, and Android clients. When we include the HDX in that configuration, we have now included Google Chrome, Linux, iOS, and now Raspberry Pi. We will also bring the capabilities of multi-cloud support. So if customers have the capabilities or workloads to work in other clouds, we can allow that type of management as well. Identity providers. A number of customers are going to have an IDP in place already. Currently, Citrix Cloud supports a number of IDPs including Google, 
Citrix ADC, Microsoft, Okta, and Ping, and a number of others. There will be no need for your customers to remove their identity providers. It will simply be a configuration of services within the Citrix cloud. SaaS applications. Customers can bring their SaaS applications with them and we will secure them accordingly. So you will get all everything that you see on this screen with a Citrix and a Microsoft AVD subscription paired together. So what eventually will happen is customers will see that they will be going from a configuration such as this, which is simply AVD, to a configuration such as this with Microsoft and AVD. Now we are going to speak to ROIs. Hybrid environments are here to stay. This means that IT managers are now have an even tougher balancing act. They must now balance PC management and they also have to meet updated and tougher security requirements that they also must provide the employees with resources that need to get the job done without interruptions. So companies that have switched and chosen to run CVAD with Azure have seen the following benefits. Cloud flexibility, improved desktop management security, reduced support calls, reduced IT resources needs and other IT costs, reduced issues and interruptions, and an overall reduction and IT management and cost and operations overall. In order to establish the TEI study and better understand the benefits, costs, and risks that were associated with CVAD service, Citrix commissioned Forrester Consulting to conduct the interviews and collect survey responses uh, which will a link to this final report will be provided at the end of this presentation. So during this research, this is what Forrester found out after interviewing all the customers involved. IT efficiency improved. Cloud delivered and virtualized desktop environments can be managed in a streamlined and standardized way by pooling those workstations use cases into fewer user personas that can be quickly replicated or updated, which allows teams to meet any scale needs. With Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop Service and Microsoft Azure, IT managers can streamline PC management by standardizing those settings for user groups and locking down security. Moving to the Citrix Cloud Service also alleviated traditional server, operating system, networking, and database maintenance activities associated with an on-premises deployment. Overall, the composite company saw a 10% increase in IT management efficiency, which added up to a savings of $2 million. They also saw in this employee productivity. Convenient access for employees. PC management efficiency. Security controls minimized accidental loss or malicious exploiting. They also were able to reduce software and other costs and adopt a cloud-first strategy. By doing so, they increased employee productivity 5%. Study findings. So overall within the Forrester study, and this is just a summary, Forrester interviewed four organizations that had experience in using Citrix products. There was a risk adjusted present value and benefits included 
a PV value of $6.7 million, a net present value of a little over $4 million, with an overall to total ROI of 153%. Citrix plus ABD can save customers a lot of money in the long run. Some new features coming soon to our Citrix Cloud service is PBS for Azure and Google Cloud, as well as Image Portability Service. As you can see, the PBS will be available here in Q4, and the Image Portability Service will be available in Q1 of 2022. Some of the benefits of Citrix PBS Faster creation and update rollback, so you can rapidly provision and update hundreds of apps and desktops at once and simplify and accelerate the administration. You can improve the deployment and redeployment at times at scale. You can boot thousands of hosts from a single image in seconds. You can also reduce the storage footprint for the customer by saving costs with reduced storage needs and by using standard disk instead of SSDs and cache to RAM with overflow to disk for best performance. The image portability setting is going to be setting the stage for a strategic cloud adoption. With on-prem to cloud to simplify image management, cloud burst and disaster recovery, and across cloud regions, geo expansion, roaming users, cloud region resiliency, and cost optimization across regions. I want to thank everyone for their time today. Here in the resources page, you will see a link to the Forrester TEI study with the full report. And you will also see a link to our Microsoft Alliances Seismic page. I highly recommend these two resources for any of your Citrix and Microsoft needs. If you have any further questions around the Citrix and Microsoft Alliance, please do not hesitate to reach out to myself, Damon Duncan, as well as Jim Cochran and John Gibson. Thank you and have a good Citrix Converge.